is there and has the reaction and the relief. Even with having to stand in line longer than expected, these folks didn't mind that. They say that standing in line for this vaccine actually brings a sense of hope and normalcy in the midst of this pandemic. But please be patient with us as much as possible. A late start didn't stop these men and women from waiting on their chance to get their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. All the way from Plainfield, Donald Bowie patiently anticipated his shot in the arm. It's been difficult because uh, Will County has not had the vaccine. Uh, I tried a number of places in Will County and uh, have not been able to get it. The battle to register was a problem many faced. Our prayers have been answered. I am just so excited. Including Chicago's own Bill Harmon. We made an appointment, they canceled it. We made another one and they canceled that and then they rescheduled. You know, it was, it was a little, but I wasn't about to give up. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. For her, this vaccination means she'll be able to spend Easter with her family. We are striving to forge our union with purpose. Not to mention her famous granddaughter and inaugural poet Amanda Gorman. I haven't seen my children or my grandchildren except on a Zoom call in a year and three months. Beyond today's hiccups, the United Center is expected to give out close to 6,000 doses of the vaccine daily. In eight weeks, state officials expect to vaccinate nearly 185,000 people. Anna Freeman says she's just glad to be in the number. It feels like there's a party going on and you're not invited. So I said, I've finally been invited to the party. But my daughter, who's in health care, she says, Mom, don't go wild now. And this vaccination site plans to stay open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. And as of right now, there is no on-site registration available. On the west side, I'm Glenn Marshall.